Thank you for joining me for the 2024 MME Day MSTEP Test Administration presentation. This presentation will discuss MSTEP Test Administration policies and tasks for grades 8 and 11. It is divided into three sections, before test administration, during the administration, and after test administration. Part 2 of this MME Day MSTEP presentation provides information about the required tasks during testing, common problems during test administration, and after testing tasks. For information about preparing for MSTEP administration, see Part 1 of this training. In this section, we will discuss the tasks that need to be done during test administration for both online and paper-slash-pencil administrations. For both the online and paper-slash-pencil administration, test administrators must actively monitor the assessment. This includes moving through the room to view testers and maintain a view of all students throughout the test session. Test administrators' full attention must remain on testing at all times. Any distraction must be avoided, including any side conversations, reading, eating, or completing other work during the test. For safety and security, if video surveillance cameras are already in place in a testing room and are used to maintain security, they are allowed to be used during the test session. Cameras should be directed away from test items, and any recording of a test session must be deleted as soon as possible after the test session. Test administrators are responsible for ensuring students who are testing online do not access any other application during the test session. This includes after the student has submitted their test, no other application can be accessed on the testing device during a test session. If students need to move away from their work area during testing, if testing online, the test must be paused. If testing paper slash pencil, the test booklet and answer document must be collected by the test administrator. It is very important that students are supervised by a trained test administrator at all times during testing. Any student accessing a test, either online or paper slash pencil, is a misadministration of the test. Finally, the testing room should be set up to minimize distractions and the potential for cheating. Users can monitor test completion in the DRC Insight Portal on the student status screen by grade and by content. This screen shows overall rates of tests that are not started, in progress, or completed. Users can monitor progress toward completion throughout the test administration using this screen. As a reminder, the screen shows progress toward completion of students who are assigned to test sessions. It does not identify students who are expected to test by the MDE but were not assigned to the test session. Assessment coordinators must make sure that all students who are expected to test are pre-ID'd in the secure site and assigned to all of the appropriate test sessions, either through the secure site or in the DRC Insight Portal. The test monitoring application allows the user to view student progress through the test during test administration. This application must be set up in the DRC Insight Portal when test sessions are set up. If you plan to use the test monitoring application, any test administrator who will access it during testing must have secure access to the DRC Insight Portal. The secure site roles of Public School Online Test Administrator and Non-Public School Online Test Administrator will provide access only to the test monitoring application. Detailed information is available in the DRC Insight Portal User Guide, the MSTEP Test Administration Manual, and in the Using Test Monitoring in the DRC Insight Portal Mini Module. The use of TTS for directions is now required for all tests. Importantly, there are still a few items and screens that must be completed before TTS for directions begins, which will be discussed on the next slide. Test administrators are required to read the test administrator's directions and manual document for the grades and content areas they will administer before administering a test. Materials need to be collected after the test administrations for both online and paper slash pencil administrations. Be sure that signed security compliance forms are collected from all staff involved in test administration. Also, final copies of testing schedules must be completed and collected. These should be kept for three years after the test administration. For paper-slash-pencil administrations, all test booklets and answer documents must be collected. Any used answer document must have the correct barcode label affixed, and any accommodations used need to be filled in on the answer document. Also be sure the student information is completed and matches the information on the barcode label. In the event the barcode label becomes damaged or falls off of the document. The test administration manual includes detailed instructions for materials return. Next, I will discuss what to do when any problems arise during the test administration. It's important to note that problems sometimes occur during testing that are outside of the control of the school or district. 
Having the issue is not necessarily the concern. It is important that the issue is addressed appropriately and reported appropriately using the established policies and procedures. All of the information I will cover here, and more, is included in the Test Administration Manual, or TAM. When you encounter any of these issues, or any other issues, during testing, it's important that you refer to your TAM to know how to address it appropriately. Any time that a testing irregularity occurs, an incident report should be filed with the Office of Educational Assessment and Accountability within two school days. Detailed information regarding how to address an irregularity, including many possible scenarios, and the most frequent irregularities that occur, is provided in the IMSTEP Test Administration Manual. The Secure site also has detailed, step-by-step -step instructions for submitting an incident report at www.michigan.gov forward slash secure site training. Some examples of testing irregularities can be if a student becomes ill and goes home before completing a test, or if a building emergency occurs during the test session. Also, if a student is not provided assigned accommodations or is provided accommodations that are not assigned, or a student engaged in a prohibited behavior occurred during the test administration, these irregularities are a few examples of reasons that an incident report should be submitted. Incident reports are submitted through the secure site. Users select the Student Assessments tab at the top of the page and then Incident Reports in the drop-down menu. Once you have selected the test cycle and entity information, select the Grade, Content Area, and Testing Mode. Based on these selections, the Incident Category drop-down will update. Then select the Incident Subcategory. Directions about what category and subcategory should be used, based on your situation, can be found in the Incident Reporting table in the IMSTEP Test Administration Manual. This table is organized based on the incident categories listed in the drop-down menu of the secure site. Perhaps the most common problem that happens in the online administration is a student submitting a test before completing it. When this happens, if there are five or fewer questions answered, contact the call center at 1-877-560-8378 and select option 2. If there are more than five questions answered, then an incident report is required. Another common problem is if a student becomes ill or is removed from the test session before completing the test. For an online administration, collect the student's test ticket and instruct the student to pause and exit the test. The test may be resumed in a later test session, using the original test ticket. For a paper-slash-pencil administration, the test administrator should collect the test materials and flag the last question answered. The test can then be resumed during a makeup session and an incident report may be submitted by the district assessment coordinator. Students testing on Chromebook who have the wrong keyboard setting, U.S. International Keyboard, will not be able to use the quotation marks or apostrophes while in text boxes. To resolve this issue before testing begins, choose Settings on the Chromebook, then choose Keyboard Settings, and be sure U.S. Keyboard is selected. If this happens during testing, have the student click outside of the text box. Then press Control shift space bar which will bring up the option to select the U.S. keyboard setting. In the online administration, there may be an issue with insight disconnections or other technical errors. This can be due to a local connectivity issue, or a network issue, or it may be an issue that needs to be resolved with DRC. So, the first step in any situation of a technical issue while testing online is to contact your local technology coordinator. If the technology coordinator cannot resolve the problem, then they should contact DRC customer support and, if necessary. The district assessment coordinator should submit an incident report if the problem cannot be solved by the technology coordinator or DRC's customer support. Be sure that students are not directed to continue testing while experiencing any technology difficulties during testing. MDE does not unlock or regenerate tests due to unaddressed technology issues after a test has been completed. I've just gone through a few of the most common scenarios that can come up during testing. Make sure to review your test administration manual if you encounter these, or any other issues during testing. This section discusses Chapter 3 of the MSTEP Grades 8 and 11 Test Administration Training, after the MSTEP Test Administration. First, I will discuss the appropriate handling of secure and non-secure materials after testing. Next, I will cover the packaging and return of materials for schools with paper-slash-pencil materials. I will end by discussing preliminary reports availability and final reports. Some secure materials must be destroyed after testing. There are secure materials that need to be securely destroyed for both online and paper slash pencil testing. In online testing, examples of secure materials include test tickets and rosters, and all scratch paper and graph paper used, 
These materials must be securely destroyed after the test administration. For paper-slash-pencil testing, examples of secure materials include all-use scratch paper that must be securely destroyed. Be sure to review the instructions for materials return section of the MSTEP Test Administration Manual or TAM. The instructions for materials return are included in the MSTEP Test Administration Manual and lists which secure materials should be returned to the MSTEP contractor, what schools should keep, and what schools must destroy. Secure materials that need to be returned to the MSTEP contractor include all used answer documents, the orange special handling envelope, all used and in used test booklets, any accommodated versions of the test. If there are no secure materials that need to be returned, then it is not necessary to return the orange special handling envelope. Securely destroy any unused special handling envelopes. The preliminary reports are available within 48 hours of the student submitting the test and will remain available until final reports are released. They are accessed through the Secure site by selecting the Reports drop-down and then selecting Dynamic Score Reports. The preliminary reports include only machine-scored items. They do not include any hand-scored items. And it is also important to remember that preliminary data is for school use only and may not be shared with the public. Schools must treat this as embargoed data. More detailed information about the preliminary reports and the data in the preliminary reports is available in the Guide to Preliminary Reports available during the test administration. These are some helpful links for you throughout the MSTEP test administration. Best Practices MSDS Reporting Guide for Trouble-Free Accountability Data the Assessment Coordinator Training Guide webpage, which includes the link to the bookmarks for Michigan State Assessments, the new Assessment Coordinator Training Guide, the MSTEP webpage link, and Secure Site Training. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. If you have any questions, call the number on this slide or send an email to mde-oa at michigan.gov.